this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I wanted to do a quick setup video for artists using a Surface tablet, uh, or really any Windows 10 tablet. What do you need to do in order to get set up for doing digital art uh, on a Windows 10 touchscreen? So let's go ahead and get started. I have about five or six tips for you. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, this is a great channel for digital artists, for note takers, and creatives who use Windows 10 devices. So one of the first things artists want to know how to adjust is getting rid of um, hover, I'm sorry, hold for right click on a pen. So if I'm using like this as a digital airbrush, if I'm just holding right here, what it'll do is this will trigger instead of a dot, what this will do is it'll trigger right click and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that setting, um, which is pen and touch, but I'm going to show you how to get there. Um, by the way, this is the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro. If you have a Windows 10 device that has a touchscreen, this is great, especially for, for uh, digital artists and note takers. All right, so we're going to go uh, just right here in this menu. We're going to pull up the touch keyboard, and we're going to type in Control Panel. Click Hardware and Sound, Pen and Touch. And again, we have this up already. And right here, press and hold for right click. We're going to tap Settings and disable that. And that's going to get rid of that uh, really annoying circle when we're trying to draw. Uh, for some versions of Windows 10, you actually have to also turn off touch in order for it to work. Uh, that's a bit annoying, but is what it is. Uh, the second thing you want to know, use the pen button as right click equivalent. If you're having some trouble with the right click activating, you want to make sure that's checked. Use the top of the pen to erase ink. Again, if you're having problems with that type of functionality or the side button, like this is a two button stylus, uh, my favorite one by Renacer. I put a link in the description, 44 bucks, I think. It has tilt and great pressure and nice clean lines. Uh, this one has the eraser right here on the side. And if you're having problems with the eraser button working, then you can use this also to help with that. All right, so let's go back in here. You can see we have nice action and holding the tip on the screen is not getting that circle for the right click. Uh, the next thing that you wanna do um, for a lot of people, if you're drawing here and uh, every single line looks like full pressure, let's go ahead and switch dark and right here you can see really light lines and dark and the transition from heavy pressure to light pressure and this is a good indication of uh, a proper pressure curve uh, if you're having trouble with that then what can be uh, adjusted the surface app here you're going to go here and depending on the the tablet that you're using some of these will have this and some of them will have it somewhere else like if it's walk-on based all right so right here i have this set to eight uh, we're going to put it at three so you can see what it's like with the surface pen i keep it at three uh, with some of the other pens that are cal calibrated better i keep it right around where it's set by default which is around seven okay so here you can see really faint now if i want a black line i actually have to push really hard and obviously that's a pain in the butt. So we set this to where you can, you can do a good mix of light and dark. Let's say I want a little bit more. Let's adjust this to seven. And that's pretty good. Uh, this is Rebel 3, by the way, and they have some wonderful watercolor, some really incredible watercolor tools in Rebel 3. And I'm experimenting. I'm planning on doing a video sometime soon on uh, programs with the best digital pencil. So <laughs> it's something I'm always looking for is, is what actually is going to feel and look and respond like a pencil and give me that, that same type of feeling that I get when I'm drawing with a mechanical pencil or 
colored pencil. Um, so far, Rebel is one of the best ones. Um, uh, well, uh, I'll put it in the video. All right, the next thing that we are going to change is uh, the appearance of the cursor. So we're going to go here, um, tap Windows, and then Settings. And we're going to go to Devices, and Pen, and Windows Ink. All of these, you can just hit the Windows key and then type the name of the setting. Uh, pen settings right here. It'll bring us to the same spot. So show visual effects. This is where you turn that off. Show cursor. This is where you turn that off. Let me use my pen as a mouse in some desktop apps. I've actually not had an app uh, or seen an app where this actually made a difference. If you guys know of one, please put that in the comments. This is significant. Ignore touch input when I'm using my pen. If we turn this on, then that means these buttons over here will not work correctly. Um, okay, so ignore touch input. I did not successfully toggle that. Okay, with that on, um, it's going to keep these from working correctly in some instances, apparently. <laughs> Uh, the next big thing that I like to change is uh, touchpad. Um, I'm sorry, typing. Here, when uh, I'm, I'm doing something and I tap on the screen, in certain programs it pulls up the keyboard or the handwriting input panel, and I don't want that. And so I keep this off. Show the touch keyboard when I'm not in tablet mode and there's no keyboard attached. This is off so that I'm not accidentally bringing up the touch keyboard. By the way, to get this touch keyboard, you click on the icon and choose this instead of this. Uh, another quick tip, and this is just kind of handy to know, uh, not necessarily art related. Um, hit the Windows, or the power button, and volume down, which is the right side of this button here, will bring you to um, Control Alt Delete function. Uh, the next tip is to use the Tablet Pro Pen Tool. It's this icon right here. And you can find this in the Windows Store. Uh, you can use this to remap the buttons on the pen to Control Z, Alt for color picking or navigation. If you're using a 3D modeling program, a two button pen with the, uh, the tip button and the middle button remap to uh, Alt and Shift or middle click or some other action than just the default right click can be a great help for digital artists. So this is in the Windows Store. Um, currently, it should be noted that the Surface Pro 7 and the Surface Pro X have uh, some sort of an internal bug in the system that is causing the, the pen tool to not work. Um, hopefully that will be fixed soon. I'm talking with Microsoft about it. So hopefully that will be fixed soon and you guys will have this working also on the Surface Pro 7 and Surface Pro X. Something that can have a huge, huge uh, difference on the lag and performance of your drawing programs is what your power options are set at. So I'd be right here, right clicking, choosing power options. And here in this version of Windows 10, uh, you can see balanced and high performance. If this is set to balanced, then when you click down here, you're going to have a slider. Being in best battery life, better performance, and best performance in certain programs like uh, Microsoft OneNote or um, paint tool side, you can get away with being here and over here. Uh, in other programs, it is a massive, massively slower experience if you have this set to something other than best performance. Uh, one thing to note, this right here looks like this when you're in balance mode and high performance mode. This does not have any options of adjusting any of that, which drives me crazy. Um, if I can't adjust that and I think something's slow and I'm like, I need to make sure it's in the high performance mode. Uh, however, uh, just right clicking down here will give you those options right here. If you wanna see those things, put it in balanced. If you want always high performance, then just high performance. All right, so uh, that is the next and one of the most important tips to keep in mind down here making sure that you are in best performance mode. So having this set up, so instead of having panels over here, again, all of these panels uh, on the screen, having them hide and then just pulling them up when you need them, 
I find is a much better way to work on a tablet. This way you're, you're not getting uh, overwhelmed with UI. And I have a giant canvas right here um, compared to what I would have if I had everything still on the screen. I mean, this is really a sexy drawing experience. Uh, and here, in order to get there, you need to hide the taskbar, which means we're going to right click on the taskbar and go taskbar settings, automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode, which is what we want turned on. That'll let the artist pad go all the way down to the bottom and also give you that full, beautiful drawing experience that, that I like. It's just such a lovely way to draw. Uh, highly recommend it. So if you're a digital artist, if you're a note taker, if you're creative and you use your tablet for design work, uh, this is a fantastic channel for you. Uh, I highly recommend that you subscribe right now. Uh, if you like the video, please click the like icon. And until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day. Thank <laughs> you.